this concentration of brain power, uh, well over a hundred uh, really top quality, world class universities and college, colleges uh, within an easy drive of, of Boston. We have a very well educated workforce. We have uh, teaching hospitals and research institutions. We have uh, a mature venture capital community. We have a tradition of innovation and in invention that frankly goes back uh, hundreds of years. You know, Massachusetts and the Northeast are leaders in healthcare. We have hospitals, we have universities, we have biotechnology companies. Large drug companies are moving their facilities to Boston, to Cambridge, to be near the academic centers. And so what that does is it creates an industry around discovery, around application, around treatment of diseases uh, that is second to none. All of the ingredients are here along with access to these new technologies that are being deployed at area research institutions and teaching hospitals. Having the what you call trifecta of academic institutions, hospitals, uh, biopharma, biotech, places that do clinical trials, etc. All these things help us greatly in what we need to do. The fact that we can actually walk right outside our door and be in this area where you can talk to this person one minute and another person the next. So it's very important that our nation continue not just to develop new treatments, but also to be sure people get them, to have those policies that make sure that they do, because otherwise there's no impact on health. So we need to keep our eyes focused with a direct line of sight to impact on health. That spirit of entrepreneurship, the spirit of we can do it better, the spirit of we can make a difference, the spirit of we must make a difference, really is, is in our bones here in Massachusetts. It is extremely important to make sure that we continue investing in healthcare and healthcare research so that we can continue to have a productive workforce, so that we continue to have the people who are invested in careers in science and who move healthcare, health discovery, and uh, who are really committed to the healthcare of our uh, populations. Over the past 50 years, we've seen incredible strides in our ability to treat and prevent cancer and cardiovascular disease. And without this sort of investment, we really won't see uh, the ability to help keep our populations healthy. Being able to tap into the top physicians at some of the top hospitals in the country that are right here in my backyard is fantastic. To be able to drive in and meet with them face to face, to have longer conversations, to get more feedback and develop a personal relationship is a wonderful opportunity that would not be available in many other parts of the country. There are several of the people that I've worked with who are uh, planning on taking their, their postdocs who have opportunities available to them in Europe or in China or in Japan or in Korea where they f or in India where they feel they have a better chance of uh, having funding and getting a research position where they can start their labs versus here where it's so difficult to get funding. If we don't continue to support uh, research at the level that we've done and increase that over time is that we ha we're going to lose an entire generation of scientists. Research funding in general provides tremendous employment opportunities and it, you're correct it's not just for research associates um, it's for statisticians um, it's for other healthcare workers such as nurses lay people such as patient navigators we have lots of navigators on some of the grants that I hold here at Boston Medical Center that help guide the patient through the research that they're participating in and then beyond We've experienced incredible growth in employment in biotechnology, even though the economic climate hasn't been that great. And the reason we've done that is because of the people that we have here, the people that are coming out of world-class academic institutions, working at world-class uh, academic medical centers. The effect of the research that we do goes beyond simply the finding of the cure. It spans out. We have so many different types of people involved in what we do. The huge amount of uh, uh, research that we do has a ripple effect throughout our community. Massachusetts uniquely has all of the partners, if you will, 
that really enable innovation. And I should say very quickly that when we talk about innovation, we're really talking about innovation equals implementation. So it's the discovery, so it's the good science, but it's the good business. That's how you make the patient the focus. It's how do we get this good science, these good technologies to the patient. There's enormous opportunity that we're just seeing the leading edge of what we can see into the future uh, and that its focus is on truly optimizing the human condition. And you know, that mission combined with a great entrepreneurial spirit as well as innovation can create greater good. It's just amazing what research funding can do. It's helped to develop my career, but more importantly, it's helped me make a huge difference in the lives of thousands of cancer patients. Medical research is how we keep our population healthy, how we worry about the next generations of our population. And without the investment that we so desperately need, uh, we could make mistakes that we will regret for generations to come. I hope that every other physician and physician scientist has this same exact feeling, but uh, it truly is about making a difference and that this is the way that I can make a difference in the world. It's all of the people that work in this industry that provide my family and so many other families, uh, so many other families that are experiencing illness, they're providing hope for those people. Hope for a tomorrow that is healthier, a hope for tomorrow uh, where they don't have to worry about that disease and what could come of it. I can guarantee that the day won't end before I get a hug from one of my patients thanking me for the difference that I've made in their lives.